Hey guys, it's Otto and this is my first skate spot. When COVID started to hit, my sister had her old board and I decided to try it out and I started to try and learn. And this is my very first spot that I started off with. Now keep in mind guys, this is not a how-to video at all. This is just my perspective as a beginner for skateboarding. I'm just gonna maybe give some general basic tips on what to do, but it's not a how-to video. <laughs> Number one thing I just want to mention, like super big deal, is helmet. There's a lot of people that are like, oh, you know, helmets for posers or helmets for losers. Don't worry about that. I mean, it's safety. Like seriously, would you rather be made fun of or would you rather like crack your head open? Um, we also chose this spot for a specific reason. Super flat, wide open. There's almost no cars here. Like I rarely see a car pull into this parking lot. Super flat, super nice. No really ups and downs. Um, not even really populated. I know some people are kind of worried about other people seeing them. Also, that's not a big deal. People know that there's beginners. As long as you don't call yourself like a big pro when you first start, just be honest. I mean, you're beginning. Just find, try and find like a big open parking lot or something, something where like there's not gonna be many cars. Not too like rough floor. This is really, really nice and um, smooth. Also, when going to a new skate spot or starting off at your first skate spot, make sure to look around a little bit because I've found myself sometimes trying to skate somewhere and there's some rocks all over the place and that's just impossible to skate around in. So maybe walk around and just try and find some rocks or something and kick them out of the way because rocks are not fun when you skateboard. When I first started, my sister had two skateboards, one longboard and one trick board. I started off on the longboard and I just practice balance. Balance was the first thing that I needed to work on. Balancing and riding, that's like the most important thing. Don't try and jump the gun and go straight for ollies or kick flips. Just try and balance and make sure you can ride it around smoothly and good and make sure you feel comfortable with the board. That's what you wanna do. You wanna feel comfortable. You don't wanna have to feel scared when you first get on the board or when you just get on the board in general. You wanna feel like you wanna say, okay, I'm gonna get on this board and I'm just gonna ride. All right guys, so this is my next level, next kinda area. It's more streety. This is also right by a school. This is right by my middle school and so it is definitely a lot slower. I recommend something like that so it's not right next to a busy street. Sidewalk though, same thing, it's kinda like that busy street except just less cars. Great spot to go up from a parking lot. Um, there definitely are more things to worry about. Also, what I really like to um, have in mind is make sure you have grass nearby, something you can bail out onto because that is just perfect, you know, especially for beginners or even just someone who doesn't totally feel comfortable on the board. It's really, really nice to have something to even just jump onto if you don't feel like, you know, you're riding smoothly or you just wanna, uh, you just wanna jump out on something. There definitely are some cautions about going on sidewalks. One is driveways, that's a big thing. You know, sometimes driveways, they can have bushes or something and a car can be pulling out and you can't, you might not be able to see them or they might not be able to see you. There's also little divots in the sidewalk, little cracks and stuff, and that's, that can be bad, that can throw you off too. Sidewalk is also different like material. It's a lot different than a parking lot. It can be a lot smoother. It can also be a lot rougher. <laughs> Another thing about the sidewalk and just kind of street spots in general is there are, it's not always gonna be like flat. There are gonna be some hills and I know I have specifically gone to some spots because of the hill and it's really fun. Make sure to take it step by step though. I know Probably some of you guys are daredevils. <laughs> I know I am. I like to take things like right away, but I probably shouldn't be, and you guys shouldn't either. You should just take it step by step. You shouldn't go right to the top of the hill. You should maybe go halfway or something and then make your way up to the top if you feel comfortable. Lastly, I wanted to do some tricks. All of that stuff before was when I was riding my longboard. It still applies though to skateboard, you know, same rules, same stuff. Um, the trick board and longboards, they feel different. You know, it's not crazy different, but it is still different a little bit. And so I still had to get a little bit used to this trick board. And after I got used to it, I decided I wanted to do some tricks. Luckily, I have a garage. If you don't have one, make sure going back to the wide open parking lot, maybe use that same spot, maybe use somewhere different, try something new, ask your friends if they skateboard, and go there and just, you know, find a trick. I'd recommend starting with the Ollie, maybe. That's a good one to start with. And yeah, just try and, you know, watch some videos from good people, ask your friends if they have any advice. 
and just kind of just try and go with the Ollie. My uncle visited in town and he gave me some advice on my Ollie. I needed to switch some things up and I need to learn it again and make sure to ask for advice because that's like the number one good thing to do. That's what I did. I've definitely gotten my fair share of injuries. I'm not trying to freak you guys out or anything, but expect some falls, expect some little scrapes, expect some scratches, you know? It's like 100% guaranteed chance you're gonna fall in skateboarding, especially if you move on to tricks, you're gonna get maybe injured. And sometimes it's pretty bad, sometimes it's not. I would say just keep it in your mind that you're gonna fall at one point. Make sure, you know, it's expected. Make sure to wear your safety stuff. No one should be making fun of you. And like I said earlier, would you rather have a cracked head open or would you rather be safe? This video is not a how-to video. It is just a POV from a beginner's perspective. I picked up skateboarding and I wanted to share it with you guys. Make sure to have fun. Thank you guys so much for watching and goodbye.